Hey guys, I'm so glad to be back on Kickstarter for my third round of pins. If you guys have been following along, you guys know I've done kaijus and face huggers and monsters and got a ton of cool designs on the website that I love, but now it's time for the next big idea. My name is Jeremy Caldwell and I love pins. I run Pinstash or pin-stash.com where you guys can find tons of pins and this is how we make them happen. A quick rundown of how my past Kickstarters have worked and how this one will work. It's basically a one-to-one -one buying pre-order system. Um, I'm not trying to get you guys to fund my business through Kickstarter or give me you know, any large amounts for other stuff like that. It's really just enough for the pins, the shipping, and all the materials, the Kickstarter fees, and everything like that. You pre-order a pin by selecting it in the rewards tiers below. As soon as the campaign funds, they'll send that money to me where I'll have all the designs already prepped and ready to go to the manufacturer. After two to three weeks, they send everything back to me. I package it all up here and send it out to you guys. Everything on Pinstash is a collaboration between me and a bunch of cool artists. But this one's going to be a little bit different. We've got Amy this time. So Amy is kind of the mastermind behind all this, who came to me and said that she wanted to make a pin. So we started shopping around different ideas, different themes and characters, and we finally settled on the movie Hook. And if you couldn't tell by her outfit, she kind of loves Rufio. And the second thing that's different is since this wasn't a bunch of ideas in my head for a big series of pins uh, coming together with a bunch of different artists, which if you didn't know, all the last series of pins, each design is done by a different artist, which is super cool. But on this one, we wanted to go a little different. So we had one artist to work together with me and Amy to create something really cool. And that's where Aaron comes in. Aaron is an awesome and talented artist, also based here in Dallas with me. And to be honest, the dude's kind of just like a crazy, like, I'm just going to put his website in the Kickstarter information. You guys need to check this guy out. All the stuff that he makes, the outfits that he wears, and all the crazy stuff he does. Yeah, you guys need to check out Amy and Aaron's stuff, as well as all the other artists that I've been working with on these Kickstarter campaigns. They are all so cool. Anyway, I don't want to keep this video going so long, but check out everything below, all the designs we've got going. The main ones are Hook versus Rufio, and then unfortunately, Rufio after he's dead, but he's still rocking. He's got the mohawk, he's got the bangerang, and um, if you guys really like the pins, if you guys support, um, there's stretch goals on there for Thudbutt, who's a personal favorite of mine, and I think is a super funny design where he wraps his legs up and rolls down the plank. Um, and then something that I want to work on um, throughout time as the Kickstarter campaign goes on. Hopefully we'll get some more work done on this. But it is the further outstretch goal, which is the Lost Boys Treehouse. Uh, if you check it out below, there's just a rough sketch, but it's, you know, the big whole pillar with the tree and the treehouse on top. The moon's in the background, all the water. I think it'd be super cool, um, but we do need a little bit more support to make that happen. And if you guys are super, super into it, we get a lot of pledges. I uh, definitely would love to do stickers again, as I've done in the last two Kickstarters. Um, but we do need the support for that. So make sure you tell your friends, anybody who's interested in this kind of thing, people who love enamel pins, um, and share on any Facebook groups you know of, uh, Instagram accounts. That stuff is super helpful, and I've met a ton of cool people over the last few campaigns by doing that. It would be awesome if you guys would help me out with that as well. Okay, 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 I'm going to let you guys go, but one last thing, if you're still sticking around, thank you so much. Um, you probably have supported one of the other Kickstarters if you're this interested, or you just really like the ideas, and that's super cool. I did want to tell you guys about my new Facebook group called The Art of the Pin Stash, and that group is just really a place where you guys can find all kinds of information, as well as I want to promote the artists that I've been working with um, on other cool projects they're doing that has nothing to do with me, but I think that you guys would really dig it, and I wanted a place to put that stuff. Also, I've noticed that a lot of people through Kickstarter aren't getting notifications for things. They don't know when the next thing's happening. They don't know when I'm shipping stuff. So that will be a great hub for everyone to know, you know, here's some Instagram photos, here's some Kickstarter updates, and some, you know, exclusive stuff uh, just because it's going to be easy to post in there and it'll be easy for me to give you guys more content and uh, show off more designs. You guys can vote on designs in there, suggest your own. I would love that. And post your pics in there. I've already had some people sending me photos of the stuff that they've gotten from the last Kickstarter campaign. So that's super cool. Um, again, thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching the video. Please support and thank you for that. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. And this video is probably pretty long by now. So anyway, go make your pledge. Thank you guys so much for allowing me 
to pursue this stuff and you guys are making it happen with your support and my love for enamel pins is totally come to life through Pinstash and check out pin-stash.com after this is all over and at pin underscore stash I know I know if I can get them to be the same one I will figure that out but for now pin underscore stash on Instagram that's where you're gonna find the most new content Instagram stories every day. I'm trying to post new stuff, new designs, all kinds of information. Thank you guys for everything. See you guys on the next one. Oh, and real quick, uh, this has nothing to do with the Kickstarter campaign, so if you're not interested, just click away. But if you guys dig these rose pins that I've got on my jacket, they're made by Pin Killers. Um, you can find them on Instagram and probably a lot of other places. Anyway, they have a bunch of cool flowers and uh, some other designs of other stuff. But I just wanted to give them a shout out because... It was right here, and why not? I might as well do it. Uh, so check them out, guys. Thanks. See you guys.